All right, guys. Uh, this is my uh, HP NVX2. I got this uh, computer about a year and a half ago. And as you guys can see, it's in a really good condition. No complaints uh, with this computer. And I just got right now, as you guys can see here, the uh, message that says uh, introducing Windows 10, your free Windows 10 upgrade, it's ready. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, download the update. I'm gonna take a look at Windows before and after. So let's go ahead and take a look at how it looks like right now before I go ahead and download the update. So, uh, you know, here's my desktop, nothing really different than that. Here's a look at all the apps. And uh, here's the access to the rest of the apps. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm excited to see how is it going to look like after the update. But as you guys can see, it moves uh, really, really quick right now with the 8. I believe it's a Windows 8.1 that I have installed on this computer right now. And I'm running, uh, I'm using Google Chrome as my uh, main browser. So with that, let's go ahead and start with the update, the download. Alright guys, I finished uh, downloading and installing Windows uh, 10 and as you guys can see the welcome screen already looks uh, different. Uh, the icons are also different. So, you know, after I put my password and all these, uh, I believe it's going to prepare uh, everything or set up everything. Uh, just uh, uh, organizing the apps and setting up everything the way I had it before. Uh, but I can tell already that it's uh, looking different. Like I said, icons are looking different. Uh, the welcome screen, uh, where you put your password and all that, uh, it looks uh, different now. So here's my lock screen. You know, look at the icons right there in the corner, the Wi-Fi icon, the battery, uh, they look different. I think I actually like them better than the previous look. As far as the time and the date, it looks the same. And that's just my uh, wallpaper. Now, as you unlock, take a look at that. The look, it's different. Uh, completely, not, I wouldn't say completely different, but different than it was before. Uh, the picture or your profile picture is a little bit bigger now. Uh, there are the icons again. And from this point, you know, just basically type uh, your password, if you have any, uh, to unlock the computer. So, uh, now that I put the password there, uh, click on... Uh, continue and this is where it's going to uh, download as you guys can see it's gonna set up everything uh, apps and all that uh, before we get to the uh, desktop screen uh, so this might take a little bit uh, of time uh, let's go ahead and now uh, after this is over uh, show you guys uh, how everything looks like when we get to the uh, desktop Okay, so uh, the computer finished uh, setting everything up. Here's a uh, look at the desktop. And uh, as you guys can see, the icons uh, are already looking different. The battery icon, the Wi-Fi, and uh, volume icon. Also, there is, I notice a space now for uh, Cortana, which is the uh, assistant. All right, guys, uh, I finished uh, installing uh, Windows uh, 10 here on the HP MVX2. Uh, and I just want to show you quick here. This is not going to be a full review of uh, Windows 10. Maybe that will be a different video. But I just want to show you quick how everything looks like after the update. 
I see a lot of icons that looks completely different. Uh, so the first thing I noticed right here, I have on the uh, left uh, bottom corner, uh, the Windows uh, logo to access uh, the tiles and all that. So if I click right there, that's gonna bring all, some, of, some of the tiles right here and I can just uh, go through them right here. Kind of like a quick access instead of having everything right here on the main screen. And also you get right here, most used uh, applications are recently added. And you also get access right here at the bottom to the uh, file explorer, uh, settings, power, and all apps. And next to that right here, let's go ahead and get closer here. So next to the uh, Windows uh, bottom, we have right here Cortana. Uh, as you guys can see, it says, ask me anything. And there's a little microphone right there. You can write or type right there, or you can click on the microphone and just talk to uh, Cortana. And uh, you guys already know Cortana, so I'm not gonna go over that. And then right here, we start getting some icons. Uh, it says right there, task view. So that's gonna show you all the different things that you have open it. Uh, we have right here, the new internet explorer. It's called Microsoft Edge. And this is the uh, file explorer. And then the next one right here, it's access to the store or Windows store. Uh, this is the access to HP since this is the HP computer. Uh, right here, it's uh, Mozilla Firefox and Google Chrome. And then right here, we see the other icons. And as you guys can see, they change the look. Uh, take a look at the look for uh, the battery, the look for the uh, Wi-Fi, the volume, uh, the messages or notifications and this is your uh, touch keyboard and there is a, a drop uh, drop down I guess you can call it I get access right here to uh, safely remote uh, OneDrive uh, which is a cloud access to uh, Bluetooth Intel graphics and access to beat audio control panel so uh, here's the access to the tiles. If I swipe right here, you're gonna get this uh, uh, window right here, action center. How, how satisfied were you with the uh, uh, Windows 10? I guess they're asking. Uh, get Office, uh, try Office uh, 364, uh, Office 365 for one month free. And then we get right here some uh, options. You, got, you can look at tablet mode, a rotation, lock, node, all settings, connect, a battery saver, VPN, Bluetooth, uh, the brightness right here, you can control the brightness. This is the Wi-Fi, quiet hours, location and airplay mode. So if I click on tablet mode, uh, basically we're gonna see all the tiles, you can swipe that. Now the tiles doesn't go that way like they used to be on Windows 8.1 or 8. Now they go down and they are mixed together here with the uh, some of the applications that are part of Windows, not apps, but just uh, some of the, uh, the applications that are part of the uh, operating system. And then we have more applications down here. So that's how they go. Uh, of course, you can click on any of these uh, at any point here from the uh, uh, tablet mode. And if you want to get back to the uh, regular uh, desktop mode, just uh, swipe right here and click on tablet mode again. And that's going to show again the uh, desktop mode. So uh, that's what I have for right now, guys. Uh, as far as uh, my first impressions, uh, I, don't, I don't know. It's hard to tell right now. I think there are a lot of improvements but there are also a lot of things that seems to be a little more complicated. Probably just a matter of time to get to know this, get used to and understand everything. But here's my update from a, uh, Windows 8.1 to Windows 10 on the HP MVX2. I wanna thank you guys for watching this. If you already have Windows 10, give me your thoughts or your comments. Uh, what do you think? Do you like it? You don't like it? Uh, subscribe for more videos and I will see you guys uh, later. Thank you.